He's the defender. The Americans are in front with a three-point advantage to try and protect. But what a tough task to overcome Alvin Auschen. Three points out of four for Europe's best player in 2018 so far. What a beautiful layout. Yes, Alvin has been performing just fine in this cup. But what about Woodward? What about Woodward has contributed the most for Team USA point-wise? And can make a huge contribution in this opening match on day four. He can carry them to the hill. Yes, Woodward has won four points out of five. So if he were to win this, he'd be nailed on to be MVP. The worry for everyone in Camp USA, of course, is what if Albin would win this match? Could this team of Europeans heat up? What a break off that is. Crisp, clean, pure. And an easy opening shot on the two ball. Now that nine blocks the seven just partly. The four ball will be used to get position on that seven later on. ways to control the three ball when playing the combination got it onto the five full onto the five with stun but that's more risky no need to do that now he has to decide whether to get that cue ball to the long rail or more towards center table but then the eight ball becomes a blocker, a potential blocker. Extension call. So playing towards that long rail would take the eight out of the equation, but it would minimize, minimize the area he could land in. This is the shot that Mark Williams plays in snooker. I suppose if you're going to unfurl it, perhaps it's best when you've got a pot of that simplicity. Yeah, the pot was easy. Position, not so much. He has left himself with an angle on the four. But not a lot. was not the sound of a clean pot. <coughs> so you either try to get straight in on the eight or leave an angle on purpose. In so doing, you at least know beforehand that the angle will be there. That's a nice shot. This is how you want to land on the last remaining balls. Minimizing pressure towards the money ball. Under this kind of tension, a rack does not get any more straightforward than that. Aushin sending an early message loud and clear. We are not getting anywhere. Alexandra Palace in the final night of the 2018 Party Poker Moscone Cup. Alvin Auschen has got the first rack on the board. 
The first rack that Europe are hoping will be many racks played this evening. By the way, if you want to get involved, any observations, thoughts, you want to contact us on Twitter at Sky Sports Pool. Break and run by Alvin Ocean in the opening wreck. Woodward looking to do the same. Close to the side pocket, but not in, and a perfect position on the one. Same degree of difficulty as Albin's wreck. Everything in the open, big areas to land in with the cue ball. Really a must take here for Woodward. Last night, Alex, we had a, a spell where we had a lot of dry breaks, but it seems now the table's back to what it was down, on day one when it's breaking really nicely. And that promotes fluid pool. Would have liked to be straighter in on the five. Still has a natural path in between the six and nine. Court run into the nine. But like this, with the speed required, it's missable. So he did not miss it, but he came close, and he has lost position. The nerves are okay, pressure is okay, as long as the cue ball is in the right spot, and it's not. Got it, nice recovery shot. Not ideal, the position. And in match one on day one, he was the culprit, Woodward missing a seven ball. This is the seven. Very laid back person and a laid back player. Plays with ease. Well, you can't get better than that. Break and run in the first round. Break and run in the second. And because it's alternate breaks, it means really the first bad. couple of rounds have been shot. Took my shot on the five, you know. Huh? Yeah, I just took my shot on the five. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, I almost crashed. Chatting with his teammates there, Alex, trying to seem cool when we all know he's not. I don't think anyone is. You can hide it, you can disguise it, but it's there. Yeah, look at this five ball. He did the whole pocket. But he made a good recovery shot on the six. A clean strike. The break and run for Woodward. I'll tell you, Phil, but especially to the viewers back home, the communication between the teammates. There's so much noise here, it's not guaranteed Woodward even hears a word of what they were saying. Look at rack three, you're up to break, 1-1. One, one. one where's the one ball tracking oh that's sitting up nicely for Albin this is gold not a golden break needs to sink eight balls to get that point but what a layout 
every ball sitting pretty. Automatic route to come around the five for the three to the side pocket. Now doesn't want to be anywhere near the five. Coming off the long rail, the second rail. But that would mean that he it's possible that he could overrun the line of the three to the side pocket. So do you want to be sure or do you want to be perfect? He played it without left spin. Left spin seemed natural, but it would have opened the angle of the long rail. Straightforward. The trap then to get ahead of yourself. Playing on an ice rink. You need finesse for this draw shot. You see how soft he hit it and still has overrun the mark somewhat. He'll be good. But this angle on the five means that he cannot get closer to the six unless he goes forward to the short rail and back. And I don't think he'll he'll do that. When you think it's preposterous, he had to rely on a wild card to be in the team. I don't think when we go to Vegas next year, there'll be any doubt about whether he should be in the squad or not. For me, he's just absolute rock solid. Rock solid, but didn't make it last year. It's tough out there on the European tour. Competition is fierce. Yes, qualification is no, no certainty for even someone of Aushin's capabilities, but inclusion, I think, most certainly is. Is he giving you a cut? <laughs> and a little bounce. Perfect cue will control. Just go forward, float it in, go forward. <laughs> two breaks, two dishes. Well, this is simply a flawless call from both players. Three racks played, three break and run outs. It doesn't get any better than this. Europe in the singles lead, 2-1. A very historic venue in North London, Alexandra Palace. It is exclusively singles. And the outcome of the 25th Moscone Cup, well, it will be determined. The USA is still in the driver's seat, but Europe more than capable of mounting a sustained recovery. Settle down, please. Snap. Woodward under the cush. Breaking in rack four. Wants to respond. Nothing open available. Under two. That's the ball he'll be playing for. Only difficult bank shots available. Doubles. Not even as a shot to nothing. Difficult position this. Even just for the safety. Now, why did he take this risk? Because he tried to not just hide it behind the 5-9. 
but he wanted to get close to the 5'9", because just snookering, it would have been 95% chance that Albin would have hit that ball. So he risked, and he lost. And that was decidedly clumsy. Quite a wide margin of error, and he was nowhere near where he wanted to be. Nowhere near. Seven at least blocks the pocket. Needs an Efren Reyes finesse to hold the cue ball behind the three and save it. Very gentle stop shot. And being able to use the seven as a blocker to absorb the two ball made it easier. Woodward botched his safety. Aushin most certainly did not. Extension, Extension called. And a down, please. He's in a tough spot, but the whole tournament, it's obvious how much Woodward has grown as a player. Looks much calmer, even when faced with such a predicament. Takes time. Doesn't rush, looks for a solution. Wow, look at this. Possible that six even blocks the two ball. A good result. Not sure to be safe. This is far from easy with the cue ball so close to the rail. up of Albin's face doesn't tell us anything it doesn't show his cards real first favorite to make this ball and he played to make it he did not force the issue using more spin or more speed to maximize the chance of a good position strong shot now all eyes will be going to the six ball play with speed to get away from the rail couple of inches struck it a little too low the cue ball and this is it a blood test for Skylar Woodward someone in the crowd said nine first I wonder if he's a European supporter. It was nowhere near the nine. Oh, showing a lot of heart, Skylar Woodward. He's up for the task. Yeah. What a shot on six. Two, two, battle join. You know, he was only a fraction of an inch from leaving the cue ball on the bottom cushion with his lag. Under normal circumstances, he'd done enough to win the lag. 
but he didn't because Aushin was perfect, and in the end it might be decisive. I know I wasn't trying to get on the ball. It just takes off. Yeah, it just takes off, man. But I did that same thing yesterday. Chit chat, chit chat. Bit of reflection, but mostly letting some pressure off. Because that chair, one of the loneliest places in the building. It's from Paducah, Kentucky, a state that's famous for the bluegrass, of course, for horse racing. They've got a great basketball program down there. They love that particular sport. And after tonight, they might have one very famous son of pool. Stone-faced, impenetrable. <laughs> Nothing down. Four made it. Six made it. And again, that one ball sitting up nicely in front of the corner, top right. We've not seen a golden break yet. This came a little close. Contact eight on nine, and ooh, nearly into the middle. Now the key shot will be the three. Actually, the shot on the two. Because if Albin plays the shot on the two, as he wants from the three to the five will be possible. Doesn't want too much angle on that two ball. Looks like he under hit the shot. If he has traveled far enough, then it's ideal, actually. He can draw to the long rail on the right. With an angle on the three, three could drop in between the five and seven. Marginal angle on the three. Just about good enough as champions do. Sometimes perfect, often just good enough. Has this ability, Ashen, to almost suspend time. It's a 30 second shot clock, but he's in no way hurried. Extension called. Yes, a 30 second shot clock, and in each rack, both players are allowed one 30 second extension, which Ashen has taken advantage of right here. A lot of deliberation. Really must decide, must be decided how you want to play it. Soft draw, stop shot, stun, and come back, half a rotation. The cue ball a bit too low, come back too far, and you have a funny angle. <laughs> no, he's favorite to make the seven and to get on the eight ball. But the position on the seven is not what it could have been. Those all purpose rests when they put up. On the vertical end, they look really awkward.
was afraid in Q Sports. He can bring in the big guns in all singles matches. And Albanusian must be said, the former world champion is kicking off pretty fine in his six, opening match. USA to break, trailing two racks to three. Settle down, please. One ball, needs the one ball. Look at this. Snooker guards want to see an open game. And that's a nice little roll because the four ball helped the one ball to get back, back to center table. It's another rack where you look around the table, Alex, and playing at the exalted level, which they are, you'd be surprised if it wasn't wiped up right here, right now. Yeah, nine ball goes in cycles, depending uh, on how the balls open up on the break. Sometimes many break and runs, and then funny positions, cluster, safety play, push outs. That's one of the skills you need to be elite, the ability to shift in rhythm, yeah. depending on what the table gives you. <laughs> Can't reach this. Extension cold. I think the vibe in the crowd is different from the previous three evenings as well. OK, people are calling out, but I think generally it's a lot more respectful and a lot more tense. Yeah, they've gained a lot of respect, Team USA. I really feel this is a coming-of-age tournament for them, the new generation. Six racks played, five break and run outs. Good percentage. Yeah, I think, I think, but... The players are making the break look easy and
pitfalls that player lets his guard down. Thank you, Rock Seven. You're up yeah, to break yeah, three. Finally, three. something easy. Put it down, please. Albanusian aiming for his fourth break and run. Different strokes for different folks. So Albanusian is easy as the layout of the balls is, or straightforward at least. Doesn't rush, doesn't take any one shot for granted. Where, for example, Tony Drago in 2007 would have already been down to play the eight ball here. Yes, Drago at snooker and tall was. Unique, phenomenal talent. Taking even extra time, Elben Ocean. The devil is in the detail. the crowd I think we're more concerned than him at that pace that was never going to stay above ground floats past the nine ball Don't overrun. Short is okay. Too far. Not good. But he lands perfect. Not a frown. Not a doubt. Perfect cue will control. Just a grinding inevitability. Well, Samar Shad on his backswing. Thankfully, the nine ball was so elementary it didn't matter. So Ashen. Skyler Woodward, though, in rack number eight, is breaking off, so he retains hope. He looks in the zone, Albanusha. Yes, back is Riverside. On the ball. Casa Bubu's fans from Greece. I, I s expect they rather not see their man play because Kazakis is. Uh, no, of course, now they need him to get an action. Fourth in line. Shaw up in the second match. Fayin in the third. Kazakis in the fourth, and then from Albania, Eklend Kachi is fifth. And talking of Shaw. Last night in the singles, Woodward was 4-3 down as he is now against Shaw. And after a very good rack eight, USA rack eight and rack nine, Second he three won 5-4. Four. Four. Can down, we call this one out of the fire? Oh. 
Open wreck. The eight ball holds. The most difficult shot is the two ball. Doesn't have a lot of room to get from the three to the four, so his setup on the three really needs to be precise. Slight angle on the one going forward would make the cue ball track somewhat towards the two. If he wants to come left of the seven, he needs to pound it. Found it, he did. Nice little stun run through. Slightest bit of forward rotation on the cue ball. Doesn't want too much of an angle on the three. That's good. You know, apart from one overhead safety, he's done everything absolutely correctly. Nice. I like his game, I like his rhythm. And I like him. Very cool, laid back. Young player. Get it done, son. Three more balls to force a deciding wreck. Attention call. Hasn't been faced by all this in the past three days. this so often of all the players this year they know when to take their time they've matured what a match this is of the entire place i'm ready He's ready, all right, Skylar Woodward. Did two things wrong. He came one millimeter short on the leg, and he overran his spot on the safety. For the rest, a perfect match, perfect pull, and a beautiful chase, maximizing pressure on Alvin Ocean, who will break off in rack nine. One law of physics, when an immovable object meets an irresistible force, something's got to give and we'll find out in the decider what an important rack of pool this is four matches so far have gone all the way two wins for europe two for the usa the referee re-racking the balls what a, a gargantuan rack this is when you think about it if Skylar Wood were to win it and the USA were to take a 10-6 lead it would require something miraculous from the Europeans but conversely 9-7 anything's doable Thank you. Final rack. Hundred percent concentration by Albinushin. He's done it four times in this match. Here goes number five. <laughs> oh, we 
you see this uh, I've seen this a million times in pool you see a near perfect match and on hill hill safety play So now, Albedusian, he could attack, he could play a jump, but he won't. He will play a push-out. Play the cue ball to any position on the table. He could even contact another ball, pocket the ball. And from that position, Woodward will get to the table and decide whether to give back or to play from there. Push-out push court. Now the player that's pushing out is at a disadvantage because he will give the incoming player choice so what you like to do, if possible, is, is tie up the balls. But from how the balls are sitting, I don't even see something available, some opportunity for Albanusian to tie up two balls. Super difficult. Now. Yeah, I think I think I would play for a simple kick or for a jump shot. That's exactly what he does. And with the way the balls are dispersed, the three, nine, eight, six, seven, you know, it's like a flip of a coin. Kick or jump, hit the ball. I think five out of ten the shooting player would get away with it. You set the clock, please. Start the clock, please. There was a very difficult position to play the push-out from for, for Albanusian. From the top rail, a half ball contact on the one. Quarter ball contact, three border, quarter ball. It's all good. Impact plus six diamonds. <laughs> Good shot, good shot, the seven it blocks the one, but they're straight in line, this for a player of Woodward's caliber, it's about an even money jump shot. In any other situation than a one break deciding shot in the Moscone Cup. Hold the line, hold your nerve. Whoa, did he split the wicket, what a beautiful shot that was. What a beautiful execution. He's ready, he told coach Johan. And vice captain Jeremy Jones. That was pure. Pure combination, two onto the four. Wow, Skylar Woodward has done the work. He's a massive favorite now. Has this rack won? All he needs to do is win it. The former world snooker champion, John Pullman, who became a very good commentator in later life, he used to use the phrase, all he's got to do is mind his work. And that applies here. Mind your work, Skylar. What a massive rack in a massive match. He's a different player than he was in last year's Moscone Cup. He has grown. They've done a lot of work together. Individually and as a team, they're reaping the rewards. And this goes to prove what we often say about pool. Aushin has been inch perfect. And he's on the threshold of defeat. Needs to go three rails. He's on the wrong side of the seven, but he'll come in towards the eight ball. 
What a beautiful match. When quality and drama coexist, there's nothing better. Beautiful, won three matches yesterday in the opening match on day four. He takes USA to the hill. He tames Albanusian. Gets the USA to 10.